So, this is my rant for Monday, January 29th. Okay, so, after coming off a wonderful night because I had my first date, my first official date in over a year of, like, actually like a year and a half of, you know, my relationship with my ex, and I had my first date, my vegan date. It was so nice. The food was so good, and my date was amazing, but anyway... After coming off my first day ever, after coming off a day high, I woke up to so much mess. And I was just like, y'all cannot steal my shine. So, look, let me say this, okay? This is going to be my very last rant addressing these people. But let me tell y'all something. I woke up to two fake pages using my likeness. And then I woke up to a comment from my father's ex-wife who's mad about a video where i really addressed her making content you know making a, a bio biopic doing a whole show you know where she talked about my father being abusive and insecure my father didn't want to address it i addressed it and just was like you know what i'm saying this is just traumatic and trauma for me to see my father being portrayed like this but anyway i'm gonna say this to y'all in 2024, this is my last time addressing y'all meat eaters who use fluoride toothpaste, who use deodorant that has aluminum in it, and who use chemicals on your skin that goes into your pores and glow, goes into your bloodstreams. Y'all ain't even on my radar when it comes to the type of life that I really live. I'm so tired of y'all letting these demons inside of y'all use y'all to try to come for me because that is confirmation that I'm doing what God want me to do. Whenever the demons come for me, y'all ain't doing nothing but confirming that I'm doing what I'm supposed to and the next level up is coming. Like before, you know, I had that issue and then I did a spiritual bath and then boom, one of my videos went viral and I got 60,000 followers in a day on Instagram. I'm not addressing y'all no more. To the people who created a fake page and used my likeness, like this, this, the, this the world we live in to where people see someone creating a brand, creating content, and then thinking that they're going to go and create a fake page. What's the purpose of that? What you, what, what you doing with the page? Like, that's crazy to me. And then two, that 60-year-old woman that decided to come in my content, my comments and call me broke. Let me tell you something, okay? Anybody that was asking my father for $40, anybody that, you know, is, is don't own land, don't own a house that they bought and more concerned about red bottom should not be talking about the financial stability of somebody else. This is 2024, okay? Talk, calling somebody broke, calling somebody fat, calling somebody ugly is like the weakest comeback that you can come for. And for those of you that question, oh, you can't come back to America. No, I don't want to come back to America. This is why I don't want to come back to America. It's ghetto. It's petty. It's low vibrational. And it is so sad that the women are more focused, not all the women, but a lot of women are more focused on material gains, more focused on social media and this fake fictitious clout, more focused on pushing a narrative that is hypersexual, that is low vibrational, that is toxic, and that is trauma bond, as opposed to using platforms to raise the consciousness of mankind. My goal is to raise the consciousness of mankind, whether it be food, whether it be spirituality, whether it be showing women that you don't have to opt for the american dream baby the american dream is not everyone's dream no one want to live in atlanta i'm over atlanta i'm over new york i'm over vegas i'm over la i'm over that i did it so why would i want to continue to do it a lot of people see my strength and see what i went through and say, baby girl, if you can go through a year, a toxic year where I went to, where I went through depression, where I had suicidal thoughts, but I did not commit suicide because I had to value the life of my son and my mother and my father. And I understood that me leaving them would leave a hole and would cause trauma that I did not want to cause. Like for real, if I could go through that and still live abroad and still make content and still focus and still stay dedicated 
diligent and remove all of those character flaws like impulsiveness and impatience to be a profitable trader, then I'm showing women that you can do it too. A lot of people think that, you know, being negative and being petty and being combative is the only way to live. That's not the way to live. I'm no longer addressing y'all meat eaters. I'm no longer addressing those who come in my DMs and wish me death. For what? That's showing me that you really are unhappy and you're dealing with a level of a depression that you aren't ready to identify. So for all of those people that's coming for me, I suggest you do some shadow work. I suggest you do some healing. I suggest you remove that fluoride from your toothpaste. I suggest you change your deodorant. I suggest you do a detox because obviously you full of crap. And you so blogged up and so clogged up that you don't even realize that you are vibrating at a frequency that's going to keep you so low to where you never reach your full potential. Yeah, you can get a little money. Yeah, you can get a little clout. But just imagine if you heal, how much clout you can use. I mean, how much how much clout you can actually get. And for those who are creating pages, that's weird to me. That's weird. I'm so over it. And I'm going to tell y'all something else, okay? Those who have been coming for me for the past month, congratulations. You got your little 15 minutes. But guess what? My life is not centered around addressing y'all. So I'm not addressing y'all no more. I'm not Tia Kemp. I'm not about to create a whole persona on being petty. This is my Cat Williams, Meg the Stalin. I'm going to step on your neck once, and I'm not going to step on your neck no more because... I don't got time. I'm too busy trying to do my steps in the gym. I'm too busy trying to be the best expat version of myself. So, for my rant for the day, it's just this. People, take time to heal. Take time to really focus on the best version of yourself in 2024. Life is precious. And if you are over 40, hold on, I'm sweating. And if you are over 40, do not use your precious time on earth being petty love on your children love on your grandchildren if you got a husband love on your man you know love on yourself there's so many things that you can do other than being petty in this world so this is my suggestion for all of those that have been coming for me for those who decide to you know use this low vibrational energy towards me i'm gonna say this in 2024 i'm gonna give you some advice okay First advice, you need to go read Edgar's Tolly, A New Earth. Second advice, go on YouTube and indulge in some Neville Goddard's videos. Third advice, try some self-hypnosis so you can be the best version of yourself. And I'm going to give another tip, another bonus. Detox. Me, I'm doing a water fast for three days. So I'm, I'm clearing my energy out. I'm clearing my body out. I'm detoxing. And you realize that once you detox, you realize that once you read some books, once you indulge in high vibrational content, that the things that used to bother you, the things that you paid attention to, the goals that you wanted to set will no longer be existing. You'll be a new person. For me, I know in the past I did address some negative things and for those of you that felt offended, I truly apologize. You know, I was in a low vibrational state. I was around low vibrational people and it was just a lot coming over me and I let that negative energy succumb and indulge me, but I'm no longer doing that because I realized that that doesn't make me be the best version of myself. That doesn't allow me to create informative content which will help my demographic, which is really why I'm here. Because when God told me to create the vegan foodie, I'm pretty sure it wasn't to sit up here and address y'all. So in 2024, let's do better. And I'll be giving y'all tips on my daily rants where, because if you're watching, because I know y'all watching, I'll be giving you tips to be the best version of yourself. Because unlike y'all, I want to see you win, baby. So if, look, if, if hating me makes y'all come on my page and then I'm pumping content to help you be the best version of yourself, then a win is a win. And that's my daily rant for the day, boo. I'm out. Peace.